This game is too fucking hard. Hey guys, coming back here again with another review. Over the many years of my gaming career, I've borne witness to tons of Souls-like games, hearing tales about how these take inspiration from a game called Dark Souls. Now, in spite of how much I say that a game is the Dark Souls of a certain genre, I've never actually played Dark Souls before. However, this game I found right here is pretty Souls-like, making it the Dark Souls of the Souls games. Unfortunately, this game lacks an easy mode unlike The Witcher the video game, but that won't stop me from backing down against a challenge. The last thing I would do is surrender to alt-right Gamergate Redditors who think I shouldn't play video games because I'm not good enough for them. So let's give this one a shot. In all honesty, the difficulty here isn't really evident. Most of the enemies seem to just die in one or two shots, and their damage is pretty negligent to the point where the game just feels like a breeze. It's the perfect game for... Okay. That's fine. Minor setback. Like I was saying, this game isn't really all that fucking difficult. It's just a little bit annoying that things can sometimes just... Okay, it might be the slightest bit challenging, but once you get used to it, things start to get easy. It's only a little frustrating when you make a lot of progress towards the next boss only to be... Ugh. Look, it's just a simple matter of trial and error. Once you get used... To... Alright, that's it. This game is fucking terrible. I don't know why the hell it doesn't have an easy mode for people like me who don't want to invest hundreds of hours into a game just to beat it. All I want to do is be able to have fun. Is that too much to ask for? But no. Shit like this needs to gatekeep transgender demigirls like me from enjoying them to the fullest extent like a bunch of fucking turf bigots. It's frustrating. Before any of you white nationalists start storming the comments telling me to get good, understand that I have a life. I have an OnlyFans, a Twitter, a blog, and a job on Kotaku that I need to keep up with. I don't have time to thoroughly learn video games just to finish them. I barely even have enough time to not beat games before I feel the need to share my underdeveloped and nonsensical opinion about them. Games need an easy mode for someone like me to be able to experience them and gain the satisfaction of beating them without putting in even the slightest semblance of work. And if a game doesn't do that, it's exclusionary and not even worth playing. I know that stupid man babies are going to cry and start saying sexist things like women shouldn't be playing video games, but I don't give in to that bigoted exclusionary mentality. Never forget Gamergate. Video games are meant to be enjoyed by everyone and should be easy enough for anyone to go through and beat them. Not impossibly difficult to the point where I have to use cheats just to get past this final boss I've seen like once or twice. I haven't done it yet, but I'll use cheats to beat it if I have to. I'd feel fine doing it. It's a personal computer. But the fact that I even have to consider it is just telling of how impossibly difficult this Souls-like game really is. It feels like an early alpha with the unpredictable AI, clunky controls, and impossible level design. Having to start all the way back at the beginning every time I die is nightmarish. I don't know why the difficulty suddenly skyrocketed compared to the tutorial where everything was fine. I was able to breeze through things easily and kill them in one or two hits. Minor mistakes here and there weren't punished all that much, except for the lack of boundaries to prevent me from falling off the edge. Then suddenly, the game starts to make everything impossibly hard from that point on. The level design is confusing, enemies pop out of nowhere, they overwhelm you, the final boss is impossibly difficult. It's a fucking sexist game is what it is. It's intentionally trying to segregate gamer girls like me from trying so ignorant incel neckbeard men have a ground to stand on and try and exclude us from the gaming industry. All you bigoted toxic man babies engaging in your hateful rhetoric need to fuck off and stop acting exclusionary for this hegemonic status quo. The only female in this game is reduced to a mere sex object, a male fantasy made manifest. The character creation screen says very large instead of plus size, there's only two genders to choose from, there's no representation of minorities, and everything about this stupid fucking game sucks because it's poorly designed and too difficult, I need a goddamn easy mode. Zero out of ten.